That was a world premiere of Adam Wolf's Melody Number no. 1, uh, subtitled The Wanderer. He will be eventually writing a number of melodies to be played all in one, like a suite, but uh, he asked me if I would mind giving that particular world premiere since it is specifically written for low horn and piano. So that is for Adam. Uh, also, I want to thank everybody for showing up online to the Southeast Horn Workshop, um, and thank you to Kristen for asking me to be a part of this. So, the next piece we're going to play is by Brett Miller. Um, Brett is a horn player in uh, one of the Air Force bands in DC, and he wrote a piece for me for my first album solo. Um, and so, I, and I liked it, I enjoyed playing it, so I asked him if he'd write a piece for this latest album. It's called Out for a Stroll, and he based it off of when you go to a new city, so when he's on tour with the band, you go to a new city, the best way to discover that new city is by going out for a stroll. So you hear these uh, moments of just like an easy swing, which is walking along, discovering different things. And then periodically you stop and see these little moments in time, different parts of the, different parts of the city. And there are definitely some interesting things that come up. Uh, we run into a purring cat. We run into a barking dog. Um, we get a little scared and run away. Uh, and uh, yeah, at one point we, step off the curb and almost get hit by a car. Um, and then you're also going to hear a little Mozart, a little homage to Mozart, horn concerto in this. Um, yeah, so here is Brett Miller's Out for a Stroll.
Next is a piece by Justin Bush uh, called Hope Springs Eternal. Uh, it was a, it's another piece that was written for my latest album that's out uh, called Hope Springs Eternal. And uh, yeah, this is the first time that we've been able to actually promote the CD since we recorded it. <laughs> or made it public. So, uh, and the last time we got to play together was for the recording, which was about a year and a half ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so it's great to finally be able, be able to play some of these pieces. I wish we were all in person so that we could enjoy it a little bit more, but uh, we'll, we're making the best of what we've got at the moment. So Justin wrote this piece. Uh, I believe it was actually the first piece that was finished for this new album. And I contacted him in late 2017, and he finished it in 2018. Um, and at the time, uh, he felt like, you know, sort of, there was a lot of negative energy sort of running around politically, and so he wanted to write something that felt hopeful. So, hence the idea that hope springs eternal. And he really wanted to dedicate it to the 50th anniversary of both Martin Luther King and uh, Bobby Kennedy passing um, in 1968. So finished it in 2018. So here is Hope Springs Eternal.
Next is a piece by Catherine Lakuda. Kathy is uh, a Ukrainian born, uh, but based in Australia, um, and just does a ton of writing for horn, and we are incredibly grateful for that, because her pieces are always just fun to play. Uh, challenging, jazzy, just great melodies, great harmonies, it's just fun. So the next piece, Vivid Dreams, is uh, in three movements. First one is Cradle in the Forest, the second movement is Octopus, and the third movement is Urban Secrets. So uh, I have a little bit of what she's written here about this piece. Um, so she thinks that each movement is like a little individual story, and since the piece is for low horn, she, these are her words, she says she felt it should be a bit dark and creepy. I don't know how I feel about that, but okay. Um, so the, the, it opens, the first movement opens with uh, a solo horn prologue, and it's sort of inviting the audience in to listen to these next stories. Um, so uh, yeah, and then technically Cradle in the, in the Forest, which is the first one that starts sort of after that. Uh, it's, uh, again, her words, a creepy lullaby. I don't know, should, am I offended by the fact she uses creepy so much for low horn? I'll talk with her later about that. Uh, so it's a creepy lullaby with unexpected terms. The second movement, Octopus, which uh, she was shocked that nobody had written a piece for me yet entitled Octopus, because it is my spirit animal. I have one on my horn, right there. Um, and uh, it just, it, it, this takes us into a short journey into the strange world, strange world of this creature through an eight note ostinato that happens right away at the beginning. Third moment, Urban Secrets, is a walk through um, hidden alleys of a busy, busy city and at times stopping to, uh, to look into like a dance studio so you hear, uh, you hear some waltzes here and there. So that is Catherine Lakuda's Vivid Dreams. Um, and that's it for this program. That's the last piece on this program. My new album, Hope Springs Eternal, is available as is all of the new commissions. There are six new commissions. I think I have that right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Jim. Uh, six new commissions, um, all except Kathy's piece are available on my website. Um, the Lakuta piece is available off of her website. So go check it out.
Thank you. 
Thank you.